All right. Hello. Hello. Thank you all for taking this time to listen to this. I'm just doing a quick unboxing. Ouch. I didn't undo it first. I should have done the plastic first. This is the Mushroom Spirit Oracle by Nicola Mac McIntosh. McIntosh. It's just M-C-I-N-T-O-S-H. Okay, so I will say it was kind of spotlighted for the sign of Aries and the fire signs of Leo's, but all are welcome. Um, I If I decide to throw a sign, nah, we'll see. I probably won't go through every single card, um, but I like to shuffle them, get a quick little look, and uh, look forward to incorporating them. So also, I have the Daily Crystals. I haven't done that one yet. So look forward to those. Number one, so it's a brand new beginning. Yeah, Rishi, Spirit Medicine. Lovely. These are going to work and talk lovely with the other herbs and crystal card deck. Yeah, so that I've already had. Anyways, here we go. Rishi. I'm just going to look. I'm going to open. So you can see I got to get the paper off. Cute little mushroom on the back. All right, hopefully you can see that. 125 on the clock. And here we go. Let's try and see how quickly. So, Rishi's under there. I am just going to shuffle them. And then I'm going to have to read the book, clearly. But this is about spirit medicine. So, I know the other one was talking about, like, defying gravity. Um, Rishi's delicious. It's in those rebel drinks I talk about, guys. If you're not for your protein and your... Uh, they have like a dark chocolate one even. If you would like the chocolate with that. I don't even know if I pronounced that mushroom right. Whatever. That's how it looks like to me. So. Rishi. 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 <laughs> okay. First mushroom spirit oracle. Ooh, the oysters. Regeneration. These ones are lovely, aren't they? A nine. Hmm. Yummy. Oyster. Little oyster. Okay, I'm going to open the book. It's our first message. Open up to death cap. Ooh. Uh, 62. The nines. And a 10. Well, 8, 9. Anyways. That's inevitable. Or inevitable. Ooh, something's inevitable. An ending. 919. So pull a lot of Virgo energy as well as like Gemini. Leo's. Scorpio for sure, but whatever. Ooh. Welcome a new start and go forth knowing it is for the greater good. See, this one shows like this. I like this. It's telling you this is poisonous, inedible. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Ammonia smell to them. They like to establish itself in their oak trees during warm, wet autumn. But the death cap is same as endings, whether coming or already here. Death can sometimes feel like a negative thing, but death represents new beginnings too. Letting go of that which no longer serves you can feel very painful. And it may be that something you have held on to isn't allowing you to move forward. Endings can also mean many positive things, especially if it means there is an end in sight for something you have been working on or you're trying to achieve. This card is a blessing, but also a warning. Don't be alarmed and don't let fear or negativity in. Everything is as it should be. Know that there are greater things at work here. Don't resist what's coming. It is time to take your hands off the steering wheel and let your needs to fall away do so. Death always comes sooner or later and resisting just delays the process, but with death comes new life. The death of something gives you the building materials to start the new. What do you need to finish or bring to an end? What are you hoping will stop? Ask yourself, what do I need to let go of to bring what I desire into my life? Make it final. And remember, RIP is rest in peace. Let go and let flow. Welcome a new start and go forth knowing it is for the greater good. The nines, letting go. Um, Very crazy. So this is in a different, in like a materialistic point of view, but like, you know, remodeling. There's destruction that has to come with that and then ending like, you know what I mean? And then starting anew, you gotta, uh, anyway, so maybe you're dealing with Scorpio also that could be in there. Lion's Mane and Leo or Virgo is very spotlighted, um, calm. 
maybe this daily crystal inspiration will also help. I will be unboxing that one. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to open it to the nine and the five. <laughs> The first card represents what lies beneath or is unseen. That is an important base. So I'm, I'm reading the book. I'm showing you how it says to use this oracle, a doctrine of signatures. All right. So we, you can do a four card spread, five. And right now I have two, but I'm going to start with the first one. It's an unseen or important thing. This is about a transformation, a letting go of something, an ending. But then there's regeneration. And Rishi was also there too. Hmm. That was number one. Number two represents what's needed to make things stable and grow. Oyster. Hmm. Number three represents what it will look like when complete. Calm. Hmm. Number four represents any elements or relationships it relies on for growth. And number five represents it will eventually end and start anew. So you even have the nine and the five. So the fifth card even. But I'm going to take that as that. And I'm going to take that as number two even. I'm going to get number three and number four. Okay. And then I'm going to read the books for these. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Learning together is so fun, guys. <laughs> Okay, card number three. Okay, I feel like I'm going to give it a good shuffle first. All right, one more. It's very interesting. I like the earthy tones. It's really bringing out the gold and the labradorite and the, um, a lot of that golden colors. Chaga. Chaga, defense or balance. Number two. And the 19. Oh, boy. The death cap. So, wrinkled peach mushroom, unique. The five. So the, the nines and fives. Also two nineteen. Hmm. Okay. One two three four five. Okay, that's all I'm taking. I see a golden teacher. The magic mushroom. Introspection. Maybe a Virgo or on the fifteenth. 915, 96. Could be a cancer sign as well. A golden teacher. Magical times. This is interesting. I like this. I don't know if you can see. I'm just setting it off to the side. Here, I'll put it there. The golden teacher. Okay, this is fun, guys. Here we go. 802 in the book. The Rishi was the first one, and that was when we opened the thing. So I am going to share that. Okay, it's edible, medicinal. It's on page 14 and 15. The card's meaning says Rishi is a heart medicine, a spirit medicine. Are you feeling unsettled and needing to bring calm into your life? Hmm. Well, calm was that final one, the lion's mane, right? Do you need to find what your spirit is searching for? Are you overthinking things and exhausting your heart? Q is so your spirit is unsettled. Then it's time to ground yourself and nurture your spirit. Sit in your heart center and see where you can start nurturing yourself better. Hmm. It's known as the queen of mushrooms. Rishi. Rishi. Okay. Is also one of the most well-known for its medicinal qualities. It has been used extensively in Chinese medicine for at least 2,000 years and is known as the mushroom of longevity and vitality. It is a powerful immune modulator, promotes good sleep, reduces stress, and helps with allergies. In Chinese, it is known as lingzi or spirit herb, and it's considered to be a bridge between heaven and earth. There are many types of reishi, and all have similar qualities. In Chinese medicine, G. Lucidium calms the spirit and nourishes the heart. Since your shen, or spirit, resides in the heart, when your heart Qi is weak or kai, qi, it cannot restrain the spirit from traveling up to your head, which in turn causes insomnia and restlessness. By nourishing the heart, you therefore calm the shen and it returns to the heart where it can rest. Rishi is not only good for heart conditions, it also tones the lung, Q, qi. I don't know why I can't say that right. Sorry, guys. Which aids in respiratory function. It's a powerful aptogen 
helping your body to adapt to stress and making it the perfect mushroom to aid in medicine. Meditation. You can find reishi on the lower parts of the hardwood tree, such as oak. It's a shiny appearance to it and can look fake. Mm. Calming down. Nourishing your body and mind. Hmm. Okay, Chaga is also there. That's the number two card. This was over here. Defense and balance. Looks like it's on an aspen tree or something. Edible. It's C-H-A-G-A. -A, Chaga. Quite an unusual looking mushroom. It grows on the bark of living trees and is often mistaken for a tree burl or a growth of some sort. It's commonly found on birch trees. Yeah, okay, birch, not aspen. There we go. That's what I... Interesting. Chaga. It doesn't seem to like being cultivated, so when harvesting in the wild, care should be taken not to destroy the tree, and some chaga should be left for it to grow back. Superfood. Its medicinal qualities are endless. It has one of the highest antioxidant levels in a food known in humans, whereas... Uh, Aussie berries, commonly thought of as a superfood, are 800 on the O-R-A-C scale. Chaga is up to 36,000. Wow. Hmm. It's very nutrient-dense. This may be due to its long lifespan of up to 20 years absorbing nutrients and the fact that birch water from the inside the tree that is taken its nutrients from is highly nutrient-dense. Let's also mention that chaga is considered to have potent anti-cancer and anti-tumoral medicinal qualities. Then take a look at the doctrine of signatures. The mushroom looks like a tumor or growth on the tree. It is also anti-allergic, anti-inflammatory, anti-hyperglycemic, antiviral, and antibacterial, among other things. Chaga is also extremely high in melanin, which helps promote the skin. Melanin aids in melatonin production, which aligns with the circadian, circadian rhythms. This is why it can help you sleep. Another property of melatonin is to decalcify your pineal gland, said to be where your third eye chakra is located, making chaga a spiritually aligning mushroom. Mm. It's about balance. Disease exists when something in the body becomes unbalanced. Chaga brings balance to your immune system, blood sugar levels, and circadian rhythms. Where are you out of spiritual alignment? It might be time to look at where something within you or your life is out of balance. Where can you create more flow and movement? Hmm. Where have things become stuck? When the balance will yourself from within this balances your external world the work you do on the inside can create profound shifts if you're prepared to do the work then you create balance and cultivate strength from the inside you become an impenetrable force the 220s i'm seeing the twos with this in the partnership so a lot of taurus with that but also what is that aquarius the 10 even and 919 so Virgos, hmm, very, very fascinating. I love um, how these will all come together and um, speak together, even because the wisdom of the trees oracle. So it pulls in the trees and the, the beauty of how it, it all works together and understanding the oneness even <laughs> of life in the world. I really like these, okay. I hope you guys are enjoying. It is 1356. Um, let's go to the the lion's mane. No, the oyster. Regeneration. Okay. The oyster. Hey little oyster. <laughs> Six nine. Hmm. Oyster mushrooms feed on dead or decaying matter, mostly wood. So you will find it grows in clusters known as shelves or on near or near trees. It forms a relationship with deciduous trees such as oak and beech and tends to grow in the shade of leafy forests. It's also heavily cultivated to the fact that it is one of the most consumed mushrooms in the world. All right, it comes in a few different colors. It's easy to grow, grows fast, making it the perfect mushroom to grow yourself. New research is also being undertaken around its ability to clean up toxins in the environment, such as oil spills. So this card meaning, this 10, 9, 10, it's maybe even some Virgo, 9, 9s. 
um, Gemini's a Cancer's twos and Libra's. Um, the oyster mushroom grows rapidly. It's prolific in the many areas. So this card indicates a time of rapid growth or movement. The oyster mushroom has many benefits, which is why it's used so widely. This could spell a time of great growth for you, for others, or for a project you are working on. Whatever it is, everything and everyone has a purpose, no matter how big or small. It may also be time to let go of something that is dying away. When you let go of dead wood, you create room for new things to grow. You may not realize how fast this shift can happen, but know that when you make the decision to let go, this is when growth begins. From the old, the new is built. Everything is recycled. This is the cycle of life. Building on what is already there so you don't need to start from the beginning. Break down what you need and what you don't need. Cultivate growth from old ways and construct the new ones with these tools. Whatever in your life this card is relating to, know that it will happen fast and it will have an important part to play. It's not about reinventing the will. It's about using what you already know works. Beautiful. All right. What you already know works. Okay. I'm going to go to the lion's mane. Calm. Right? So the lion's mane. Now this was over here even with this balance. So to, if I was going to call signs with this, I'm seeing the 25. So a lot of Libra energy with that, but that Taurus energy too. Leos. So maybe, I mean, regardless, maybe there is also two five Aquarius. Lovely. 519 Tauruses. Um... 925 Libra. Hmm. All right, Lion's Mane. 26 and 27. I love the flow. Boom. So these two, 25, 26, 27. Hmm. Which is 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Lion's Mane mushrooms are beautiful. White, roundish fungi with a shaggy or hairy appearance. Both edible and medicinal, lion's mane offers a wide array of benefits, including improving cognitive and heart health, reducing inflammation, improving the immune system, and restoring the nervous system. The doctrine of signatures is strong with this one. The mane of H, I'm not going to pronounce the word, the, the her, her, hurricane or Nicias, because I can't pronounce it. It looks like the many fibers in the nervous system. Hmm. So this is your cognitive function and nervous system are intrinsically linked. When you're under stress, both are affected. When one is calmed, so is the other. It's hard to operate at your peak mentally and physically when you are under chronic stress. You may find things harder to do and you are more likely to make mistakes since your body is in a fight or flight mode. If you are to make more grounded decisions and perform tasks more effectively, you need to calm your nervous system. And take care of yourself. When your body says it's tired, it means it needs rest or nutrition. Not caffeine and sugar. Oh, dang. But caffeine and sugar. <laughs> if you keep adding stimulants, you will. You keep yourself on edge and in fight or flight mode. When you listen to your body and what it needs, you can then understand why you have the highs and lows. And why you don't need to look after your nervous system. Where do you hold your tension? Why do you hold your tension? What are your triggers and what do you do to eliminate or help your body out of stress mode? If you are to have a healthy mindset, it is important to look after the nutrition you feed it, the lifestyle you live and the practices you incorporate. Sustainability is all about pace. Remember the tortoise and the hare. Be the tortoise and pace yourself. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't burn yourself out. Hmm. All right. Duly noted. No take in there. Okay. I already did read the death cap one. I feel like that's that scorpionic. It's a 10. It's an ending, right? Um, maybe if you are a Scorpio or something like that, or you're going through some type of transformation or an ending, Really stick around for when I open up that crystals and even Libras, Aquarius, Leos, all Taurus is even those who are really interested with this. Stick around for that. Um, 
wow there is the other final card is also seeing the fives right a lot of the fives that change in creativity so leo energy but the 23 even the shift um let's see i'm seeing 10 23 so even libra energy again but and leo um 10 5 105 maybe capricorns even but a wrinkled peach okay we're gonna see what the wrinkled peach says being unique so there's that aquarius energy too but all of us have our own unique things Ooh, as i turn the page there's the amethyst seaver this one's deception but i flipped the page Ooh, the wrinkled peach <laughs> five five i didn't sorry i couldn't help it and the golden teacher. Okay, we're going to go to the golden teacher first because it's right there. And the fives and the six. Okay, this is part of the, this introspection. Psychedelic, the golden teacher, the magic mushroom. All right, this one's the magic mushroom. The golden teacher. What's golden? Jurassic five. Okay, here we go. The fives. 515, maybe even a Taurus energies. Uh, but there's also that Leo and Virgo. Gemini cancers okay um golden teacher is a hallucinogenic mushroom widely known throughout the world and it is cultivated strain of psilocybin is the main psychoactive component and is being studied for its effects on people with psychological disorders such as depression oh misidentification can be deadly golden teacher grows slower than other species but develops more psilocybin you know what it is i don't how, know how to say it it's known for its introspective and philosophical effects rather than just a trip like some other psychedelic mushrooms when bruised or picked it turns a blue color which is one way to identify it in many countries it is illegal well i don't think there there it turns a blue color when dented but others can too so still well there you go don't get it confused with the death cap mm. okay i'm all wow the golden teachers here the ghost mushroom these are interesting but this one's inedible and poisonous right about shine mm. neon green yeah that's a warning 1717. Hmm. 88. Rarity. Sorry, I'm just kind of flipping through. Wet autumn weather. Um, so I'm not gonna read all the death cap because I feel like I did that one in the very beginning of this. That was kind of creepy, right? Hi Scorpios. Whatever. Just that's the way it's all that's the flow of life the nines also okay and the fives change unlike other mushrooms rhodotus rhodotus palmatus unique is the only species of its kind so it cannot be mistaken for any other mushroom Basically, taxonomists found it hard to fit into a category, so it was given its own. The cap has a rubbery feel to it and is nearly impossible to tear apart. Red or orange droplets cover the stem, which is a phenomenon known as gutation. And it is unclear why this occurs. Its food source is rotting elm wood, and with the decline of these trees, we now see less and less of these stunning mushrooms. Hmm. Palmatis can grow on other hardwoods and is listed on the International Union for Conservation of Nature red list, meaning that it is endangered and you cannot pick it. You cannot pick it. Hmm. Maybe that's another thing. You don't always get to pick it. Okay, this is taken 24. So that was just a sneak peek at the mushrooms. I'm not going to incorporate any other cards or any other signs. It's just a quick unboxing. Thank you all so much for taking the time. That, that was very fascinating, interesting. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.